Hello everyone, let me just grab my mic, make sure I'm all good. <laughs> that was a bit of a rush. Hello everyone, I hope you guys are all doing good. Um, I apologise if you can hear the aircraft taking off because I've just opened the window because it's baking in here. So I'm just going to like put my hand over my earbud so that Instagram people cannot hear this. <laughs> I think Facebook should be okay because I've got this mic. Just wait a second. This is, always happens when I go live. How is everyone? If this is your first time here, introduce yourself. Tell me what do you sell and why do you sell it? I would love to know. So hello, Miss Harlow. Crochet with Lovey. Hello, Luna and Leaf. Avalanche Avenue. Hello, hello, hello. My Grace 2020. Some new faces here today. Love it, love it, love it. Let me know. Hello, Facebook. Hello, everyone. Come in, pop in, say hello. Um, let, let me know what it is that you sell and why. So today we are going to be talking about three signs that it is time to pivot in your business. Next Monday at the same time, we're going to be talking about three signs it's time to give up in your business. So I'm kind of doing like a bit of a, like a two part series talking about business life, basically, because right now I know that, especially for the summer, and if you're feeling like this right now, like you are not alone, um, you are probably might be feeling like sales or engagement or something is a little bit slow. It's completely normal. But that sometimes does reflect on us kind of feeling like we need to pivot, we need to change, something's not feeling quite right. I really love to kind of talk about that today. So if you're on Facebook and you want me to pop up your um, comments a bit like what I'm doing on screen, Instagram people, if you want to hop onto the Facebook group, you'll see slides and all sorts of cool stuff. Whereas if you're watching on Instagram, you won't get that. But if you want me to pop up your comments on screen like that, hello, Facebook user. Otherwise, if you want to give StreamYard permission, it will show up like this with your name and your profile picture. So Viv says, newbie here, I'm a potter. I sell it as there is only so much my home can hold. <laughs> yes. And I love the feeling that someone else is using and loving something my hands made out of mud. Love that. So it's literally a case of you love the idea of someone like using something, loving something, having something in your home that they have made. I love pottery myself. I've actually got this little dude here, which is a bud vase, which I bought from a local craft fair. Um, and I, I love this thing because we have so much lavender out, outside, out the front of our place. And yeah, I just love it. Um, so let me know. Hello. Hello. I sell art on Etsy. Okay. Go a little bit deeper. Why do you sell it? What exactly do you sell? Like what type of art do you do? Is it watercolor? Is it acrylic? Why do you um, sell what you sell? And I really encourage you to go just a little bit deeper. Viv says, oh, robbing that make idea. Yes, it's such a good idea. And also she made little, um, I mean, I've got loads of stuff be not behind me because you can only see my couch, but behind me here, there's a table and I bought so much stuff, like little pebbles that she made out of scrap clay that she stamped little like aff affirmations on. It was just the best thing ever. So if you're new here, hello, I'm just going to pop up a little something something just so if you've if you're if you're new here I'm just going to explain a little bit about me so I am a handmade business expert and I specialize in helping handmade businesses owners start run and scale their handmade business to consistent four and five figure months that is basically a bit about me let me know if you're new we've got a lot of people joining so many people are hopping on I love this more people on Facebook. Usually it's the other way around. That's very, very interesting. But just while we're waiting a minute more for people to hop on, I wanted to celebrate a win within HBSA. And if you want in Instagram, you can't see this, but there's, there's a slide on, on, the, on, the, on the screen. Um, so Katie B says, I am three orders away from hitting £533 away from my first ever £1,000 month. I think my other half will be taking me out for dinner this weekend as promised. So that was one of our amazing wins inside of HBSA this week. Every week I have to pick just one and it's really hard <laughs> just to pick one. Uh, Libby J123, hello the Fizzbiz, hello made by Sass by Sarah, made with Sass by Sarah rather, uh, Bermude, B Bermude design or is it Bermuda? I haven't got my, gla my glasses on so I'm not like the best at <laughs> reading small text right now. So 
shall we get into it? Let's hop into it. So let me know, guys, are you feeling right now that you are needing a pivot? So someone says newbie here. Um, Ali says I've been a subscriber for a while, but this is my first live. Hello. Yes, definitely join us live. Um, hello, my business is called Hapticals and I make copper jewelry and hair accessories made improvements, but still not where I want to be. And that is completely fine. If you have made improvements, and this is something that I really just want to just sidestep on. If you have made improvements, can we just celebrate that? Like, can we can we just like stop this whole, um, oh, I've done this, but nothing is like, I'm not where I want to be yet. Or I have I have redone my social media. I've scheduled in this. I've done this. I've done my pic, my pictures again. I've redone my my SEO. I've made changes, but I'm just still not quite there yet. We need to just stop that and really like nip it in the bud and just be like, right, okay, I am celebrating that I have made changes, and also as well, nine times out of ten, it's not making like one big change that's going to just move the needle for you is the culmination of many days of little changes, many habits. And that's why we're talking like daily habits. It's many, many things that are all brought together that is actually going to really move the needle for you. So can we just like, if you guys are sat there saying, well, I've tried making changes, it's not really working, just celebrate that. Just say to yourself, right, I am proud of myself for just making those changes, right? Hello, Bemu Design. Hello, hello, hello. Um, so Claire, hi, due to relaunch my ceramic shop very soon after a two-year break. Awesome. Yes, relaunching is as good as launching. We're all here for it. Um, I've made improvements and my conversion rate was 0.3. Now it's 1.9. Yes, that is a breakthrough. Okay, even improving your conversion rate by 0.1% is a breakthrough. And if you don't know anything about conversion rate, you might be a little bit kind of confuzzled. I do have a free training for you. If you're watching on Instagram, the link is in bio. I'm going to teach you how to increase your conversion rate. And if you're watching on Facebook, the link is on screen for you right now. Take a screenshot, take a picture, whatever, whatever you need to do. <laughs> but that training is the, train that, the training that's going to show you how to increase your conversion rate. Okay, let's have a look. Janie, the Janie the Vintage Crow Mercantile, just trying to figure things out. Yes, yes. Okay, so let me know if any of you are watching. I'm going to try and keep this one a little bit shorter just to give you the three points that you can really action. Okay, so tell me, are you guys feeling like you need to pivot in your business? Let me know by a show of hands. Give me an emoji that describes how you're feeling about your business right now. I think that'll be really fun. <laughs> so drop me an emoji in the comments. How are you feeling about things right now? Are you feeling like the pivot queen? You might have pivoted like three, four times already. And now you're like, oh, like, when am I just going to settle down? Or you might have had your business for two, three years and be thinking, right, okay, um, I think it's time for a change. I'm not quite sure why, but something in my waters is telling me that I need to change and pivot. Let me know. Drop an emoji in the comments. So we've got a little embarrassed face. Love this. <laughs> um, Viv also says, tomorrow I'm restarting my Etsy shop as in-person sales are down and I need to cast my net wider again. Yes, I used to do in-person events a lot, actually. And this is something that a lot of people don't really know. I don't really talk about it all that much because I'm an online business expert. But I used to do in-person like shows and um, like ag agricultural shows were like my favorite thing to do. We've got a little party face. Amazing. We've got a little hand up face for the emoji. Love it, love it. We've got a sad face. Okay, so I completely agree with you, Viv, is that online you can reach like quadruple the amount of people for less effort. And that's why I really fell in love with the online side of things. Um, a lot of my history is in brick and mortar. And I just fell in love with the fact of online businesses you um you can be making a lot more money than a brick and mortar store if you know what you're doing and that's really why I completely fell head over heels in love so let me know are you feeling like you need to pivot if so here is three signs three little things that perhaps you should be looking out for that is telling you okay now it's time to change and pivot right so the first one is you have woken up for more than three months and dreaded working. Okay, so if you get that 
kind of pit of your stomach feeling where you're thinking, I just don't want to get up and go to work tomorrow. Or I just don't want to like log into my Etsy shop. I don't really want to check the app or, oh, here's a message. I've got to respond to that now. Or maybe you've like promised yourself, I'm going to do some more things. I'm going to make some more designs. I'm going to stock up my shop. But maybe you're just like, I just don't want to do it. (laughs) And if you have done this for more than three months, then maybe it's time for a pivot. Let me know in the comments, has that been you? So that is the first sign. If you've woken up for more than three months, because, and the reason I say three months is that sometimes you might have a bad day, you might have a bad week, and that's totally fine. That doesn't mean you need to pivot and change your entire business. Sometimes it can even last a month. When you're getting into like the three month realm, and you are kind of beginning to feel like you need to pivot, that is when things are starting to get a little bit, hmm, maybe there's something behind this. Let me know. Uh, Viv also says, agricultural county shows, yes, same here. Uh, and, and, and steampunk fairs have been my core sales, but bills need pay. Yes, yes, they do. Hello, Holly Rose Interiors. Hello, Bespoke by Pip. Hello, hello, hello. So the first one, woken up for more than three months with this kind of inner dread of doing anything in your business, okay? Number two is you get orders for a design or something that fills you with pangs of dread. And I think we've all been there. I think we've all been there where we have created something and listed it in our shop because we feel like we should because we feel like it's a popular design, it might be trending. Um, and I and I actually <laughs> I actually despise jumping on trends. I really don't like it when people like the whole slime thing because you're building a business for like just those three months when that thing is like right at the top of the search, you're not building a business for the long term. But I know that a lot of us have made things that perhaps now we get orders for and we're like, oh no happy for the money, I'm happy for the order, but just the thought of me making that thing, just, I just don't want to do it. And and I've been there, like I've done that where I had things in my business where I just did not want to do. And I knew that they were getting sales and it was, you know, I was pleased for that side of things, but then the other side of me was a bit like, right, okay, I really don't want to do this. (laughs) Um, Yes, gets overwhelming with managing my shop along with my full-time job, yes. We've also got, hey, I finally made one. Sorry, I'm late. No problem. Hello. I don't I don't know who you are, Facebook user, but hello. <laughs> so hi, Holly Geary. Hello. Oi, Oi Blondie Crafts. Like that name. That's awesome. So let me know. And if you're brave enough, tell me what that thing is. If you've got something in your shop that you get orders for, but you just think, I don't want to make that or whatever else. You you maybe you don't like the process, maybe it's so long-winded, maybe it like it might hurt you, maybe like you're doing something with your hands and the repetitive movement it's just hurting your 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 joints your fingers whatever um I used to make this certain type of jewelry that really used to like callous the tips of my fingers and I just they were getting orders but I just hated doing it let me tell you the minute I let those things go it was so much better <laughs> so the third thing is and I know any any of my multi-passionate entrepreneurial sisters out there who are dreaming up, constantly dreaming up other business ventures. Yeah, (laughs) I'm talking to you. So if you keep dreaming up other business ventures, now I'm not talking about like, you know, the general ideas that pop into your head when you're out and about and you're thinking, yeah, maybe one day and you get out your phone and you write that little thing on your, on your, on your list. And you're like, yeah, you know what? I'm talking about, you've got this idea that's just floating. It's just floating. It's just floating. And you just can't get rid of it. It's like an annoying little fly. It just keeps coming back, but it may not fit in with the current shop and the products that you're offering, in which case it may be time for a pivot. It might be a sign that maybe you have outgrown your current business and that is completely okay. If you feel like you've outgrown your business or you genuinely feel like maybe for you this business has run its course, then that is completely and honestly fine. And I don't know if you guys did know, but if you have a Shopify website, 
They even have, now you, now you can't transfer ownership of Etsy shops, but if you have um, your own um, Shopify website, they even have a marketplace for you to list your business for sale. So like, don't ever kind of feel like you have to shut it down and you're not gonna have to start all over again. Like there are options out there for you. And I just really want to kind of leave on a bit of a note that kind of says that you know, if you are a multi-passionate entrepreneur, that is me, I fall into that boat, it is completely okay to pivot and completely change, okay, it's completely, honestly, okay, and I also feel that sometimes we can pigeonhole ourselves back into our box, and and, and kind of how, how this works in our heads is that we have this idea that keeps coming back, that keeps coming back. You can't like shoo it off. You're thinking, no, I, I don't need to do that. Or no, it'll just be more work or, you know, and we kind of really make sure that we stay in our own lane. We're like, no, I have to put the blinders on. And while that is fantastic, sometimes, again, like I've said, sometimes you've had your business for a reason. Maybe it was a stepping stone. Maybe you've had your business for a season. Maybe it's something that you've done and that now you're ready to move on or maybe it's just something else that you've done and you've ticked off the big old bucket list and now you need to move on there is absolutely no shame and again let me know in the comments are you someone who has a business now and you're thinking right okay I I'm feeling like I'm at that point where something has to change but I'm not sure what hello love Carly hey hello so let me know in the comments is that you that's why I stopped taking commissions. Yes. Um, Janie, in the same nine to five for years, ready to retire, finding it very hard to get up and go in and, and want to run my business full time. My passion has always been to run my own business. I assume that says, or it could be run your own bus. I mean, that, that would be awesome. Um, but yes, I completely agree. Like we all have that nagging feeling and there will always be excuses as well. Like there will always be some kind of excuse. And the excuse that's going to happen now is the recession. That's going to be the next excuse as to why people will not just go all, go all in with their handmade business and what they really want to do. It will be the same as 2008, 2009, 2010, where people were like, you know what, I can't, I can't pursue my dreams because of the recession. And we'll just stay in our little comfort zones. And I mean, I'm not going to go on about that today because this video will be so long. But what I wanted to say to you guys is that if you're ready to dig deeper with this, I would love a conversation with you. If you're watching on Instagram, DM me the word live at Handmade Bosses, which is obviously if you're watching on Instagram, then you're watching on the right profile. Tell me more about your business and your goals. Like send me a voice note, send me a DM, tell me. I'd love to open up a bit of a conversation with you guys. I've not done this before, but I'd really love to kind of get more info from you guys. I want to talk to you guys about your business. I want to I want to help. I want you to just like even if it's like me not giving you tips and tricks, but it's just you being open and talking and writing, well, I'm say putting pen to paper, but it's literally typing on your phone. <laughs> tell me about your business. DM me the word live so I know that you've come from this live and tell me more about your business and your goals. I would love to hear from you. So send me a DM. Let me know. Talk to me about your business, what your concerns are. But more importantly, I'd love to know what your goals are. So guys, I really, really hope that you have enjoyed this live. We are going to be live again the same time next week, next Monday. Happy 4th of July for those who are celebrating it. And again, don't forget to send me that DM because I would love to hear from you. But for now, guys, I will catch you in the next live. Bye, everyone.